Lift your hands toward heaven and just pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. Pray in the Spirit for one minute, everybody. Pray in the Spirit for one minute, everybody. Pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute, everybody. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit for one minute. Go ahead and pray. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory, glory. To the Lamb for you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. My voice and said, You are the Lamb. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? No. Jesus, 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 you are my anchor for life. Oh. If you leave me now, where will I go? If you leave me now, where will I stand? Oh, Jesus, 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 you are my anchor. You are my melody. You are my standard. Till the day you will come. Till the day you will come Jesus Elohim Azar El Elulam Jehovah Maganeno We come to you today and we ask you to throw your weight around And prove to the devil that you are master in jesus name we worship clap those hands everybody and take your seat hallelujah amen and amen glory be to god amen please technical take down the echo on this microphone reduce the echo hallelujah good to see everyone happy new year to you in south africa Amen. God bless you. Everyone is looking so well. Choir, you're looking so wonderful. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. Bishop Zondo, good to see you. God bless you. God bless you. We identify with you. We love you. Amen. God bless everyone. I may not be able to call you by names. I'm Sipo. Thank you. I want to thank you especially because um, they told me everything you've been doing supporting and standing with them god bless you god bless you let's give sip a wonderful clap amen okay so we'll do all of maybe further introductions if there's any need for that tonight i want to say how much we love pastor paul and pastor christabel for what they're doing Pastor Paul. Amen. Thank you. And thank you, Pastor Christopher, for standing with him. And all the 
pastorate of South Africa and the Sadek region. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Okay. Break your Bible. If you have your Bibles with you, 1 Kings 18, verse 45 to 46. 1 Kings 18, 45 to 46. And it came to pass, it came to pass, please, if we could get another sound, another microphone, this one's projection is a little bit better. And it came to pass, in the meantime, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and Hayab rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he guarded up his loins and ran before Hayab to the entrance of Jezreel. Hallelujah. Those of you at the overflow, I'm sure you can hear me. At the overflow, wave your hands. I want sometimes the camera should let me know that there are people there. We have a massive crowd outside. I want to share on the overtaker's anointing. The overtaker's anointing. In life, overtaking is allowed. But before we go further, I want to show you a few things that if you study that chapter from verse 41 to 42 to 43, 44, there are a few revelations that... Elijah said, tell Hayab to run. Because I hear a sound. I hear a sound. Nothing happens in the kingdom without a sound. The easiest way to trigger signs is to trigger a sound. Anytime you hear the sound, get ready for the signs. Now, number two, he said, Turn hey up. Now, this was still a time of drought. There's not been rain for three years. He said, Turn hey up to run so the rain does not stop him. He didn't say, Tell him to run because it's about to rain. They tell him to run so the rain does not stop him. Walking in the supernatural is living in your expectation, not your experience. Now, there, 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 there's something I'm building up. Hold on. There's something we don't understand. The Bible says in Romans 4 17, God who quickens the dead. Now listen to me. Don't worry. Just listen to me. Some of us don't understand that. You don't. A believer is sick. He says, I'm not sick. That's no faith. The Bible didn't say, he collect those things that be as though they are not. Oh, you don't understand it. He didn't say, he collect those things that be as though they are not. He collect those things that be not. There's a thin line between I am not sick and I am healed. There's a thin line. God does not dis deny the reality of what you are going through. But also he gives you an assurance of where you are going to. 
I wish I was talking to somebody. Let him run so that the rain does not stop him. I'm here to tell somebody I hear a sound. There is a sound of prosperity. There's a sound of breakthrough. There's a sound of opportunity. There's a sound of open doors. There's a sound of revival. Tell somebody I hear a sound. Take your seat. He said, tell. He said, tell Hayab, eat and drink. And Elijah went to pray. In this generation, if you stay in pleasure with them, you will come under pressure like them. If you stay in pleasure with them, you come under pressure like them. You must do something different to stand out in your generation. You can't be normal and don't expect to be nominal. Maximum fulfillment is a product of minimum pleasure. Do you know why Mary carried the baby? Virgin, pregnant. Virgin, pregnant. No compilation between him and the, the woman. There was no contact. Pregnant. Bishop, there was no contact between them. But she was pregnant. Yeah. That, that is what it takes to be pregnant. You didn't get that. If you want to carry the seed of royalty, you will be denied the pleasure of intercourse. To carry the seed of royalty, you'll be denied the pleasure of intercourse. Those that enjoy that pleasure did not carry the Messiah. What am I saying? There are things God will allow you go through. God, when you have prayed and prayed, is not changing. God is behind it. Because there are certain things you will not learn unless you go through some fire. The Bible didn't say if you go through the fire. It said when you go through the fire. So you must always go through the fire. But there is something about God. At the end of the fire, you will come out as gold. And there's something about God. When you go through the fire, you don't go through it alone. The fourth man is with you in the midst of the fire. So I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the battles of your life. I don't know the challenges you are currently experiencing. But God asked me to tell you, by reason of this meeting, this is the end of that fire. This is the end of that fire. This is the end of that fire. You are coming out of pain. He said, he said, he said every year was dry. And I prophesied. Everywhere was dry. And I, so prophecy is the cure to dryness. Pure prophecy is the cure. Everywhere and everyone, whatever is tried in your life, I prophesy, dry bones rise again. Take your seat. In Job 42 and verse 2, he said, I know that thou can do all things. And nothing can be withholding from thee. In Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Ah, Lord God, thou made the heavens and the earth. Nothing is too difficult. And in verse 27 of the same verse, chapter 32 of Jeremiah, he said, I am the God of our flesh. Is there? Genesis 18, 14. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? In Luke 137, he said, For with God. How many things? How many? In Daniel 3, if you read verse 17, the three Hebrew boys said to 
the great king called Nebuchadnezzar say our God is able he's able in Hebrews 7 if you read verse 25 he says he's able to save us to the uttermost them that come to God through him believing he ever lived to make intercessions for them in Ephesians 3 verse 20 he says he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think uh, listen according to the level of power what we see what God exceeds the abundance we enjoy is directly proportional to the level of power that is allowed to work inside of us so if you see minimum results you carry minimum power if you see minimum manifestation there is minimum power at work in you when maximum power is at work in you you begin to see maximum results there are people under the sound of my voice in this meeting today there's about to be a release of minimum manifestation and maximum explosion as you carry god inside of you you will get to the zenith of your life the manifestation that eye has not seen ears have not heard neither has it come to the heart of man listen adam was carrying eve from the first day of creation when adam was created eve was created adam was going about with eve in the garden he was going about anywhere adam went to eve went to it was inside anything god said to adam it was both adam and eve he was talking to was inside Eve never came out until Adam slept. There are things you are carrying that can never come out until you relax. Until you put your life in the hand of God. There are things you are carrying that can never come out until you surrender. There are things you carry that can't come forth until you surrender. My eyes are about towards the Lord for he shall pluck my feet out of the night. I will look up to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from God who made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer my feet to be moved. He that keepeth Israel neither sleeps nor slumber. It's time to surrender. There is something you carry inside of you. It's time to surrender. There's a greatness inside of you. It's time to surrender. There's an abundance of grace and in this meeting as you surrender to God I see you walk into manifestation the plan of God is to restore man to the original state that man was that is why at the cross there were two thieves one on the left one on the right two thieves one he stole the tree of knowledge of good and evil called Adam one he came to steal kill and destroy it was called Satan it was Adam and Satan that were standing because he came to settle that issue between the first Adam and the fallen dragon it was Satan who said to him if you say you are the son of God save yourself because Satan is the accuser of the brethren and he said to Adam, he said, what do you want? He said, remember me. You only remember somebody you knew before. Remember me in paradise, in Eden. But both of them, they had a problem. One of them said, if you are the son of God, like they say, he was seeing Jesus in the context of what he has done in the past. The other said, when you get to your kingdom, he was seeing Jesus in the context of what he will do in the future. And Jesus corrected the both of them. He said, it is not yesterday, not tomorrow. Today, you will be with me in paradise. We serve a God of today. Your miracles will happen today. Your healing will happen today. Your breakthrough will happen today. Your testimony will happen today. Lift your hands shout, I receive. Take your seat. The place we read said, Hey, I have sat on the horse. And the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he outran Hayab. Hayab was on the horse. 
Elijah was under a hand. Sir, it's not what you are using, it's who is using you. Success is not what you are using, it is who. Elijah was on the hand. Ahab was on the horse. He said, and he outran. That's why I came today. In this morning session, someone is about to outrun somebody. Maybe you started late, but you can be the latest. I say you can start late and be the latest. It doesn't matter what has gone ahead of you, or who has gone ahead of you. Someone is about to overtake. You are 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 about to overtake. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. Greatness is on your side. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take your seat. I hear a sound. See, the plan of God is to restore you back to your original. If you want to see how the prototype of how God wants our life to be, see what happened in Eden. Man had everything. He said God brought the animals to Adam to see what he will call them. And whatever he called them, that was, that was, God already had their names. He didn't tell Adam. He wanted to see if Adam connected to him to pick their names in the spirit realm. He said, whatever Adam said, Adam said, lion. God said, you got it. That's the name I called it. He said, this is a goat. He said, you got it. That's the name I Living in the supernatural is, should be a natural lifestyle. You should live in the supernatural naturally. Overtake. Take your seat. After you may have heard me give this testimony. A young man comes to church. Came for the minister's conference. He's not a pastor. He comes for a conference. And at the end of the conference, he goes around pastors begging them for money, for support, because he has to take himself back to his location. And the pastor's few came together and they gave him money. He left. Five months! How many months? Come on, talk to me. He returns back and climbs the pulpit for a testimony. This was his testimony. He said, five months ago when I was leaving my location, I had to beg my wife to support me. She supported me. I got here and I asked some of the pastors. They supported me. I'm not a pastor, but I just came to the program. He said, that's five months ago. He said, today as I stand to you, talk to you, I own my own bank. Bishop, when he said that, I looked at my wife. I said, why, I said, why do people, why do people lie? This man didn't say he has a bank account. He said he has a bank not bank balancer. A bank. Now, I am a believer. But that testimony, I began to process to get a bank. You need to get a location. You need to get a license. It must be approved. You need basic deposits. You think of getting the staff. I update the professionals, assemble the team. I said, no, not five months. It can't be in five months. And I, I mean, I just said that, but I, I wasn't clapping. People were clapping. I wasn't clapping. I felt it was just confessing faith. 
the end of the service, the man comes to my office. And I said, you gave a testimony to me. He said, yes. I looked at him a little bit uncomfortable. And he said, I brought some things for you. He brought us some checks. And I began to see several zeros in the check. He said, I came to give it to you as a seed. I look at the first one. I look at the second. I look at the third one. I said, you own a bank. <laughs> What am I saying? Overtake. How did it happen? The CEO of that bank, they found he had cancer and had few days to live. It begins to run through his mind. He has a daughter, but the daughter is into medicine. And it began to run through his mind. He remembered that some years ago he had an accountant, a personal accountant, who was very honest. And he remember the young man says a chartered accountant. He calls him up on the phone and told him the story. He said, I'm stepping aside, I'm going to the U.S. Run the bank. That is what we call overtake. When you overtake, God pays you arrears. All the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, has eaten, God says, I will restore. I prophesy upon you. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Between now and the next 24 hours, your restoration manifest. Your restoration manifest. Your restoration manifest. Whether you are inside or you are the overflow, receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. Wherever you are, receive your restoration. Restoration in your finances. Restoration in your marriage. Restoration in your job. Somebody shout, I receive. Take your seat. Number one. To get the overtaker's anointing, he said, I hear. Number one, take heed to what you hear. You must guide it. In Ecclesiastes chapter 5, if you read verse 1, he said, keep thy foot when you come to the house of God and be quick to hear than to offer the sacrifice of fools. For they don't know that is evil in the sight of God. Keep thy foot. And be quick to hear than to offer the sacrifice. You see, any act of worship in church that demeans the potency of God's word is act of folly. That demeans your faith is built by what you hear. Listen, if you control the things you hear, you have solved 40% of your problems in your work with God. If you control what you hear, Satan will not stop speaking. You are the one to stop listening. The devil is wicked. You keep talking. Satan is wicked. Bishop, if you remove D from devil, he's still evil. Satan will keep talking. What do you hear? In Luke chapter 8 verse 18, Jesus said to the Pharisees, Take heed how you hear. I hear a sound. What you constantly hear, you gradually become. What you constantly hear, you gradually become. When you keep hearing God, you gradually become his image. When you keep hearing negativity, that's what happens around you. When people come and they open up a story of sickness, stop them. I don't want to hear it. 
Oh, there is depression and there is recession in South Africa. Stop them. I don't want to hear it. Because in this same South Africa, where people are going through recession, some are going through reception. In this same place, in Africa, where people are going through poverty, going through lack, going through pain, some are going through uncommon favor, open doors, opportunities, abound. Am I speaking to somebody here? And that's what the Lord has promised that your life will get better for the path of the just. It's like a shining light that shineth more. Your light will shine more and more. Your light will shine more and more. I see you expanding, increasing. I see you excelling. I see you prospering. It's a new season for your life. I see you advancing to your next level. I see you advancing to your next level. Let me tell somebody, what are you hearing? What do you hear? Tell somebody, take it what you hear. Tell someone, take it what you hear. Ask five people, what do you hear? What are you hearing? Take your seat. It doesn't matter. Listen, I understand. There are, there are certain things that have, that have been said. Mm -hmm. That somebody said it doesn't mean you must believe it. Oh, this is how it is. Okay. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 21, Jesus said, You have heard that, that it was said in verse 22 he said now I say in verse 27 you have heard that it was said in verse 28 now I say in verse 31 you have heard that it was said now verse 32 I say in verse 33, you have heard that it was said. Now I say. In verse 39, you have heard that it was said. Verse 40. Now, so it doesn't matter what has been said before. Hear what God is saying now. If God is saying it now, that is what I want to hear. If the word of God says it now, that is, you see, that is why. Can I, can I talk to you? Write this, write this down. Hearing God's word builds your life on the rock. Hearing God's word builds your life on the rock. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Jesus said, he that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. is like a wise man that builds his house on the rock. Hearing God's word, doing them, builds your life on the rock. What is he saying now? Pastor Benny Hinn said, when you only depend on the, on the word, you, you dry up. He said, when you only depend on the spirit, you blow up. When you depend on both, you grow up. So, even if somebody comes and says, this is the word of the Lord, you must be connected to the spirit. There's no kind of prophecies, prophecies I've not heard. 12 years ago, somebody saw that I died 12 years ago. Another saw I died 10 years ago. Another saw, saw. Somebody, somebody walks to you with a neg negative prophecy and said, I saw an, ac an accident. Hold him. <laughs> Say, back to sender. Not me. Not me. Ezekiel said they can gather against the host. 
They can plan against the city. But as for me, not me. There can be a conspiracy. Nation against nation. And business against business. But as for me, not me. Have you not heard? Have you not known? The everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. Neither fainted nor is he weary. For there's no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. The young man may fail. And the youth may utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord. Shall he be. Mm. Listen. I just heard the Lord say. To speak to 507 people. The season of dryness is over. Your life will become eventful. God said, No more dryness. There is a restoration coming. Dry bones shall rise again. Your finances will rise again. Your marriage will rise again. Your home will rise again. Your health will rise again. Dry bones shall 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 rise again. As I'm speaking, it is happening. Your helpers will get your phone numbers. Listen, a man called Cornelius, he was praying for four days. The angel walked to him and gave him a name, send for Peter. A great man will send for you. Send for Peter. Give him his name. Give him his identity. Do you know what God can do? Do you know what this God can do? You are praying for a helper and God can actually speak to a helper with your full details and identity and tell a helper to send for you between now and 24 hours. Somebody under the sound of my voice from the parliament, from the presidency, from the world of business, someone will send for you. A helper will send for you. A great man will send for you. They 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 will send for you! 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 Somebody first day five people! Great men will send for me! Great men will send for me! Great men will send for you! Great men, great men, great men! Great men! Great men! Send for me! Somebody shot fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Elijah said, he said to the man, what do you see? The man said, I see nothing. He said, go again. I see nothing. Go again. He said, don't, don't stop going until you see something. Go again. It's not over until you win. If your back is still on the floor, the fight is not over. ay ay if the case is not in your favor, it's not over. If it appears the enemies are still having the upper hand, it's not over. It's only over when you win. 
So don't don't wait for light at the end of the tunnel. Carry the light to the end of the tunnel. If the enemies, if it appears the enemy still have the upper hand, it's not over. If it appears the battle is still fierce against you, it's not over. When you win, it's over. What do you hear? Disconnect yourself from ne negative informants. There are people that know all the latest negativity, latest sickness, latest disease. Latest, they know every country that is owing the World Bank. They know everything negative. When it's positive, it's far from them. You, you see, don't take your seat. A young girl in Nigeria. Can I talk to you? A young girl in Nigeria walked into the office of her boss and said she brought some checks and told him to sign. The man said, he said, this is on the 19th. I only signed these checks at the end of the month. And the girl, by some demonic inspiration, said, please sir, sign the checks now because as you are leaving the office, we will not see you again. The man said, what did you say? He said, we will not see you again. The man stood up, went to the door, locked it, came, took the checks, dropped it, grabbed the hand, and spoke in tongues in capital letters. And said in the name of Jesus, you will see me again, 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 you will see me again. The lady was the lady was shaking. She didn't know what she said. She was shaking. As the man was going home, hired assassins came, riddled the car with bullets. prophet they they destroyed the headrest yet no bullet touched his head why he said it you will see me again you will see me. don't allow negativity this this battle will not consume you whatever has not killed you cannot kill you If you are still living, it's a proof. You see, when I hear the story about the woman, the woman with the issue of blood, the reason I love her story, even before her healing, I loved her. Because she was a survivor. 12 years still standing. 12 years. Still standing. There are some of you, Satan is wondering how you are made. Despite the battle, you are still standing. Say, Satan, you have brought your worst. Some of you, you have made the devil to exhaust his syllabus. Satan, Satan is, is, is run out of ideas over your life. He brought this, you survive. He brought that, 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 you survive. So, when the demons come to the devil, they say, what do we do to him? Satan says, what have we not done to him? There is nothing else to do. He said, having done all to stand, stand! It's too late to go back. Some of you, if you go back to the world now, you can't catch, you can't catch up. You can't catch up. Where will you start from? It will take you a week to learn their dance. It will take you a week to learn their dance. Because of too many scriptures in your head, if you take weed, you go mad. It's too late. You come back. Stay! He 
say, what do you? You see, until you get what you want, don't you want what you get. It's not over. Number two. Number two, and I'm going to pray. To enjoy the overtaker's anointing, you must pray against near success syndrome. Near success syndrome. Abraham, Elijah overtook him at the entrance. The gate. You know there are people. This is. This is it has been like a, a circle in your life. You are always close to something good. Circle. People promise you willingly, and time to redeem the promise becomes a fight. Yeah, success syndrome. A young man said that people sat down in the embassy. He was talking to me in the office. He said he told his friend, he said, watch, my case will be different. Negatively, not positively. So there was a particular line. There was a lady there. Probably she was in a good mood. You just come why are you traveling? She give me a visa. You come. So people began to move towards that direction. When they call, they say, Win the two, nobody's going there. Win the three, they say, No, no, we want this one. So everyone who went to her, she said, When are you traveling? Congratulations. Pick your visa in two days' time. When are you traveling? You bring the documents, say, Forget about it. Why are you traveling? Congratulations. Everyone was getting. The person before him got. As soon as he was about standing, the lady stood up and, walk, and walked away. The young man said, I said it. <laughs> Near success syndrome. And this is, I mean, whether you're a pastor, you've got to pray against this. A man took money in the trunk of his car. And said he's going to go to any young church. And that money is meant to put the pastor of that young church on television. Now that's what he has in his mind. Any young church he enters. He'll take the money from the trunk of his car. And put the pastor on TV. So he entered his young church. And he sat down. Money was in his truck. And the pastor started preaching. It doesn't matter how we start. Being on television is not everything. The man kept quiet. Pray for help. Now help has come. Your mouth. I've shared this with you. The pastor went to the mountain to pray. For favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. Financial favor. He prayed. There was this man in his church who was like the protocol, like an usher. After every service, we'll give him an offering in an envelope. Very small, less than 10 rands. But he was faithful. He'll put it in an envelope and give to the pastor. So the pastor, after about a year, already knew the figure. What is there? So when he brings it, he keeps it. So one time, they didn't see the brother again in church. The brother left. After about five months, he returned. Pastor said, where have you been? He said, I, I went somewhere. Pastor, please. Pastor looked at him. You have, you have started again. He said, give it to that usher. So he said, the usher, take a cab. Take a cab. The usher, the pastor, the, the man said, pastor, should I give him? He said, give him. Are you sure? Give him. He said, okay. So the man told the usher, come. And it was a check. On Sunday, during testimony, people, people killed. He got to the usher's town. He said, praise the Lord. We have a good father. Our father, yes, lost everything. During the meeting with our pastor, and somebody came with an envelope, 
and it was five million naira and God touched our pastor told the man to give it to me pastor stood up what where is my money <laughs> He fasted. Now help came. In the name of Jesus. Every power of near success syndrome. Today I break it in the name of Jesus. That power that makes you get close. And when you are close something bad happens. That power that makes you get close. And when you are close you lose the opportunity. That power that makes you get close. And when you are close, somebody else takes it. That power that makes you get close. And when you are close, something bad happens. That power that makes you get close. And when you are close, a character destroys it. Today I break it. Today I break it. Today I break it. Today I break it. Stand on your feet and let us pray. Somebody say, Lord. Shout it loud and say, Lord. Say, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus deliver, me deliver me from near success syndrome. Deliver, deliver me from near success syndrome. Deliver me deliver me from near success syndrome. Lord, 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 Lord deliver me. From near success syndrome. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Fire. Dele dele de kosa. Da 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 da. Zezete. Da da da. Da da da. Lord, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. From near success syndrome. Ego box. Balabados. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. From your sources in the name of Jesus. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, Lord, 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 Deliver me, Lord. 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 Deliver Dot, 
in your body today. Amen. Elijah outran. We are going, going to cry to God. The overtaker's anointing fall upon me. The overtaker's anointing fall upon me. When it comes what takes others years takes you weeks. Yes. One of the things I know is evident on my life is speed. Yes, sir. Speed. Speed. Yes, sir. Speed. What makes God compresses time? Speed. Overtake us anointing. Fall upon me as we take that prayer, the heavens will break open. The power of God will hit this place. There are people that that overtakers unction will fall upon. And what took you 10 years before will take you 10 weeks from now. <laughs> Say, My father, my father, my father, my father. shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, the overtakers anointed, 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 fall upon me, fall upon me, fall upon me, the overtakers anointed. The overtakers anointed fall upon me today. Fall upon my generation. Fall upon me and my generation. The overtakers anointed fall upon me. The overtakers anointed. Fall upon me, fall upon me, fall upon me. The overtakers anointed, the overtakers anointed. Fall upon me, fall upon me. In this service, badado, 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 Don't, 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 don't,
Lift your hand towards heaven, everybody. to receive the overtaker's anointing. families here there are individuals who have been delayed for too long and you say right now you are going to fast forward them you are going to fast forward them wherever you are inside outside at the overflow there are 61 of you the lord has said 
It's your, it's your season to overtake. Right now, right now, right now, right now, at the count of five. One! Holy Ghost, find them. Holy Ghost, find them. Ushers, bring them to me. I want to pray for them. Holy Ghost, find them, find them, find them. 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 Find them. The anointing to overtake. Find them, find them. I see you. I see 25 of you in your wedding gowns. I see 25 of you in your wedding gowns. That altar that nobody gets married in the family, you are going to shatter it. You are going to break it. Wherever they are, Holy Ghost, find them. In the name of... Two! Holy Ghost, find them. Holy Ghost, find them. Holy Ghost, find them. Miracles! The miracles of God. Signs and wonders. Miracles happening now. People have been healed in their bodies. People have been healed in their bones. Blind eyes are opening, deaf ears open. Paralysis of the limbs, gone. Tumor, gone. Cancer, gone. Fibro, gone. Tube blockage, gone. Ovariances, gone. Myopia, cataract, hypermetropia, astigmatism, total blindness, gone. I keep drinking, you keep feeling me. I keep fetching, you keep feeling me. Yet this great river never runs dry. I keep drinking, you keep feeling me. I keep fetching, you keep feeling me. Yet this great river never runs dry. Eshada, Eshada, multiple-breasted one, the source of your fountain never runs dry. Okay, Mary. Okay, Mary. Okay, Mary. But never on Nations drink from you. Eternity drinks from you. Yet this great river. Hayala bada 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 I see something. Please. Please. I just saw a green light all of you in this place hold hands together your left and right left and right way to the back way to the back hold hands way to the back i just saw a green light and whenever i see that light it speaks of speed 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 father somebody there 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 speed speed I keep drinking, you keep feeling me. I keep drinking, you keep feeling me. Yet this great river never runs dry. Those of you at the overflow, God is touching you. There's a mark. There are seven people at the overflow. God is putting a mark on your forehead. A mark on your forehead. A mark of favor. A mark of favor. A favor. Look at that. A favor. At the overflow. Help them there. A mark. Power! Shut up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Lord. Who is who is Boozy? Boozy. Boozy. If that's your name, come here. Don't waste my time. Boozy. Hey.
Uzi. Are you Buzi? Huh? Your name is Buzi? Your name is Buzi? Two of you Buzi? What's Mbabo? Mbabo. Who is Mbabo? Mbabo. Mbabo. Buzi Mbabo. Yes. That's you. I keep fetching, you keep feeling me. I keep drinking, you keep feeling me. Yeah, this great river. Ah, who's crushing? Who's crutches is that? Somebody's walking. Who's crutches is that? Somebody's walking. Oh, ay, 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 ay. Don't cover the mouth of the mic here. Yes, sir. Papa, this woman came from Pretoria. She said last one month ago, a month ago, she woke up one early morning and discovered her legs were eating up. Her legs were eating, eating up. up. Yes, sir. And she could not go and get up on it. But since then, she's been using these clutches. She could not stand with guitar clutches. Why are you playing? You see, me the cover. Woman, come, come, climb the air. Climb the air. Clap your hands, everybody! Miracles are happening. Receive your miracle now. Is this how you clap for Jesus? Yesu Nazuela Kavari Kaliba Kaladi Bitsaluna Iyo Yo Kavari Iyo Kavari Yes, Nazuela. Let's dance. Yes, Nazuela. Yes, Nazuela. Cavari. Caliba Cala di Bissaruna. Yo, yo, Cavari. It will never return. She is totally healed. Clap your hands, everybody. Miracles everywhere. Aya. There's a prophetic fire here. Woman, I want to pray with you for what God is about to do in your life. Amen. And God is going to fight your battle. Amen. And you'll fight this battle. Another miracle has taken place at the back. He will fight this battle and give you rest. If you are alone, struggling, I see you in South Africa. I see you in Randberg. Are you in Randberg? And you in South Africa. Yeah. Huh? In South Africa. Can I pray with you? No, you are not in South Africa. This woman says she's South African. God said no. 
not say she's Zimbabwean, but she claimed South Africa. Yes, the Lord said this one, because of what happened to her from home, does not want to be associated. So claims South Africa, lives in South Africa, stayed in South Africa. But I saw the help of God coming upon you. Amen. I saw you in the spirit realm. One, two, three. I saw three children. Yes, sir. You have three children. Yes, sir. I saw three children. Now, these ones, God is going to send them help. Yes. But there's one child that we have to pray for because of memory. Yes, it's like, yes, um, yes, and this one is like when they say a woman's eye, only boy, yes. two girls, a boy. Yes, sir. And this one's mind has a problem. I saw it like a T. Tabo. And I saw the hand of God make. Listen, it's not just to prophesy, it's God to bring it to pass. Right now, the mind is being restored. Who is, who is Richard? If your name is Richard, raise your hand. I just had Richard. Richard, Richard. If your name is Richard. Moyo. What's your name? Before then, I was seeing a lady. I was seeing a lady in the spirit realm. I was seeing a lady. I just have to pray for you. I have to pray for you. Yes. That's your wife. There's a lady I was seeing. When we were coming, Bishop, as we were driving, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw a young girl. And God said, I should pray for her. And I was asking the Lord, why? The Lord showed me a pattern in our family. And the Lord said, her name is called Toholo. Toholo. The Lord said, the Lord said, pray for her. And I said, why would I pray for her? It's a young girl. Is it you? What's your name? Toholo. I saw a letter L. No. Huh? What I saw... your daughter the letter M. I saw a letter T medium name a name Takani. Tak, tak. Takani. what's your name Takani. okay wait maybe you think I'm guessing right wait you are praying while we were praying here, we were praying, talking to God about, about your academic life. Your academic life. And you are telling God, I want to go to school. Yes, sir. Okay, you know what you do? Get a pen. Write the school. Write your course. Let me pray for you. Sir, I saw the realms of the spirit that God is going to help you. Amen. And your finances are scattered now. They are yes, scattered. Yes. But God is going to help you. Amen. And is going to help you. Amen. What is Lotek? Kamban, I'm working for. Lotek. Yes. What do they do? Way bridge. Way bridge scales. Lord Tech. Is that the name? Yes. Now, there is a favor coming. Amen. There's a favor coming. And this favor is going to come in a matter of weeks. Amen. And it will change your status. Amen. There is another Richard in the house. There's another Richard in the house. My son. His name is Richard too? Yes. 
I'll pray for him. The God of heaven will help him. Constance. Yes. Is that your name? Yes, Constance. I see the help of God. Amen. I see the help of God. Amen. I see the help of God. Pick it up. Have you written it? Why why don't you want to even, why don't you want to school around South Africa at all? Because the university I'm seeing that God is giving you is not what you want because you want far but what God wants to give you is not what you want because what you want to study is what your mother was doing your mother was a nurse you want to study nursing Ah. Jesus. <laughs> who is who is Swanello? Swanello. Swan, Swanello. Is that is that somebody's name? Come, girl, come. Do you know Limpopo? Yes, sir. That's my that's my home. That's your home. Yes, sir. Limpopo. Yes, sir. Where is your mother? She said, Mammy Lord. Mammy what? Mammy Lord. Mammy Lord. Jacqueline. Who is Jacqueline? My mother. Your mother. Yes, I see in the spirit. You see, what your mother experienced is what you are experiencing right now. Yes. What your mother went through. Rejection. Rejection is what you are experiencing. Rejection. Yes, I sir. saw that in the cars I was coming. Rejection. Yes, sir. This is an organization. This is a group. This is a group. And they are supposed to favor people. But when it gets to your turn, they took your name out. It's a group. It's a group. When it gets to your turn, they take it out. It's like a theater group. When yes, it gets sir. to your turn, they yes, take sir. it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like a theater, theater group. Yes, when sir. it gets to your turn, they take it out. Yes, they, they took your name out of the list. Yes, sir. But That's God true. is saying the same, the same thing your mother went through. One, two, three. Your mother. One, two, three. Children. Children. One, two, three. Yes, sir. Men. One, two, three. Yes, sir. And it's a pattern. As I speak to you now, if I ask you, where is your dad? You don't know. Yes, sir. You don't know where your dad is. That's true. You don't know where he is. That's true. Because this is what they told you. They just told you there's a dad. You don't know. And if you are angry, yes, stop, sir. stop. Because you are bitter. Your mom is like isolated. Only one child is talking to her. Two are not talking to her. They are not talking. They don't want to see her. Because they believe she didn't do well. God says, forgive her. Because in that forgiveness is your wealth, is your remembrance, is your turnaround, is your manifestation. Ah, uh, yeah, there is a miracle power. God just whispered, Miracles, people are getting healed. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 people are getting healed. Amen. Do with Gabarone. I saw Gabarone. Gabarone, I stay there. You stay in Gabarone. Come, wait, stay here. Wait, wait. Are you here alone? Are you here alone? Yes. Okay, wait. There's about to be a release of grace. Would there be, would there be space for me to move this night through the crowd? Please, this place is jammed up to outside I saw the favor of God why did you why when somebody sometimes manipulation can come as offenses because I saw you in the bank 
Look at me. I saw you in a bank. Yes, sir. Something happened. And you resigned. By yourself. From the bank. Yes, sir. Now, nothing. You are not doing anything now. You are just there. You try this, fail. You try this, fail. You try this, fail. You try this, fail. There's an altar that must be broken. Yes, sir. Bishop, there's something coming. I, I, I'm trying hard. That, 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 that kado kwane. That kado kwane. That's my home. Was it called? Yes. Was it called? That kado kwane. I see in the spirit realm, as hands are laid on you. Thank you, Father. Everyone lift your hands. Say, in the name of Jesus. Suddenly. Suddenly. I didn't hear you. Suddenly. Suddenly. In my life. In my life. The unction. The unction. For speed. For speed. Begins to manifest. Begin to manifest. Suddenly. Suddenly. What took me years. What took me years. We henceforth take me weeks. We henceforth take me weeks. Suddenly. Suddenly. I am moving. I am moving. With speed. With speed. Into my rest. Into my rest. Into my greatness. Into my greatness. Suddenly. Suddenly. All the doors. All the doors. Are open. Are open. Are open. And so. I saw a, 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 a casket. You will not you will not bury anybody. Ma, I saw a casket. You will not you will not bury anybody. What is I saw a casket and I saw gofer. But God says that casket is packaged back to where it came from. And every one of you, under the sound of my voice, every arrow fired in your direction goes back to where it comes from. The womb was, womb was affected. Right now, God is giving you a new womb. So, come to me if you are that person. What happened to her? Give him the mic, sir. She could not stand on her own. She could not walk. But while you are ministry, the power of God came upon her. She started walking to the glory of God. Now she can walk. She can walk now. And she was see clearly. She wasn't seeing clearly too. No, no. Her sight is restored now to the glory of is God. Is that the lady for the womb issue? Come. Brand new womb. Brand new. Brand new. Leave her. Leave her. Pick her up. Woman, you are totally healed. And you are made whole. The Lord has restored you. Brand new womb. Give her a new womb. Pick her up. I don't want to be a sound in the ears of men. An echo in your life is restored right now, right now, right now, right now. Brand new. Restore what the enemy took and give her a testimony. Tasha, abarata tata rata, separate ta. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Berekete parata shata. Repatata ratas. Brakatas. You know him? Until. You know him? How long has he been blind? I don't know, but I've known him for almost four or five years now. He's been blind like this.
When I was in grade seven, I went to sleep. In the morning, I woke up, I couldn't see. The doctor told me it was because of blood condition HIV. I'm tired of this. I want to see and I want destiny to help us. I want to save God as I'm supposed to save God. I need to. So how, how many years have you been blind? It's 17 good years. It's almost going to 18 years. When I was in grade seven, I couldn't even see my report. I'm tired of this. When you were in grade seven? 2006. 2006. Yeah, on the 2nd of August, just after World Cup of 2006. Okay. So what do you want now? I want God to open my eyes. I want to see, I want to be healed from this blood condition, HIV. And I want destiny help us to come to my aid. I want to save God free. Wait, wait. Leave destiny help us for now. Yes, I want to see. I want to see. You said I want to be healed from the blood condition. And you want, I want to be healed from the blood condition? Yes. HIV. The side rest yes. Yes. The reason I ask if anybody knows him, I want confirmations before I pray. I know him very well. Even when he came here today, I saw him, then I called him, I, I heard his hands. I said to him today, you have arrived. You are here. So, where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe, but I've been staying in South Africa for 12 years. So, this problem started in Zimbabwe? Yes, 2006, on the 2nd of August. It's like I came from school at night. In the morning, around 3 a.m., something was fighting me. But when I explained to the doctor, they said, it's nonsense. It's because of the blood condition you had. I was born HIV positive. You were born HIV positive. Yes, yes. And the, when you told the, you, you, you came back from school and I, noticed something was fighting you. Yes. And when you... I was... Touch. See! Ah, ah. No, not this one. Just Shut up. This it. Shut up. See! In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let a... Uh, be free. <laughs> it's a snare. <laughs> Heal. <laughs> Heal. Touch my head. Touch. Touch my head again. Touch my head. Papa, you can see. my head okay touch me check check this one too check this one too our sight is restored well lift your hand toward heaven everybody lift your hand toward heaven lift your hand toward heaven and begin to bless the lord 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 everybody bless the lord bless the lord oh. i decree upon everyone whose hand is lifted up From today, receive speed and acceleration. No more delay in your life. The Lord send you help. Send you speed. Send you help. May your battles end right now. May the Lord raise up voices to speak for you. Bring you out of this storm and give you a testimony in the name of Jesus. Please, right where you are, we are just introducing the meeting. We are introducing the meeting this morning now. Wherever you are, you see, Apostle, pray with me. I want to make peace with God. I need God in my life. I want to make peace. I want you to pray for me as I make peace with Jesus as He comes into my life and becomes my Lord. I want that gap between me and God to be taken off. Pray for me. If you're in that category, I'd like you to raise up your right hand. You want to make peace with God. I'm going to count to five. I want to pray for you. Wherever you are, as your hand is raised up, as I count to five, come here. You want to make peace with God. One. Two. Is this how you clap your hands for the Lord? You want to make peace with God? It pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He will always be with us. 
if we do our part there's nothing this wide world can ever afford there's peace and contentment in serving the Lord he pays to serve Jesus I speak from my heart nothing this wide world can ever afford there's peace and contentment in serving the Lord I'll love him for better than in days of year I'll serve him more truly than ever before I'll die at my post abide with me fast for the even time lift your hands those of you in front of me and say Jesus I come to you today just as I am have mercy on me write my name in the book of life I believe in my heart I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord and Savior in Jesus name I pray for you lift your hands to be of God. Lay your hands on them. Now there are some of you by this decision you have taken. Altars are broken in your family. Touch, 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 touch. Beast me come to the Olam of God I come I, 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 I. just as I am without one plea but that I pray for you the Lord say oil will flow on your head oil will flow on your head the grace to stand to the end is released on you in Jesus name now do something when you get back to your seat feel the form you don't have a form with you? If, you don't, if you don't have a form can I leave? and give it to an usher standing by you it's important we know you we pray with you we reach out to you give the Lord the hand for them as they return to their seat clap your hands for them Clap your hands for them as they return. Clap. To thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I come. Be upstanding. Everybody be upstanding. If you are not here on time tonight, you may not get a seat. Tonight is serious. We are back here in the next couple of hours. We are believing God for a great move of his power. Your case will be the next to be announced. And above all, it will be a season of rest. Amen. Some of you, before you come back here in the next four hours, you will notice that things have changed. Amen. Phone calls from helpers. Amen. Phone calls from helpers. Amen. Hold an offering in your hand, everybody. Everybody. Please, throughout this conference, pay attention. Pay what? Students students don't pay only school fees they pay attention they pay attention so pay attention now lift your offerings above your head everybody choir we're going to we're going to worship together tonight okay we're going to spend time to worship so pastor paul get me on time get me here on time i want to be here on time on time is that okay